What is going on, guys? Money Webby here. We're back on Friday with my favorite NBA DraftKing picks, my five top plays, and also my Dollar Tree play of the day, my favorite value pick. Hope you guys did great yesterday. There were some great picks that we had. DeMarcus Cousins went off for 83 DraftKings points. If you didn't have him in your lineup, you probably lost. Um, also, Marcus Solid, a very good game. Ken Bazemore returned a lot of value. I did recommend Paul Zipser, but during the day it came out that he probably wasn't playing. So if you didn't, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you wouldn't have known that I pivoted to Denzel Valentine. So definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you're not already. I uh, let it know, be known that Denzel Valentine was going to be getting a big boost with Zipser looking doubtful, and I had Valentine in my own lineup. So those plays really benefited us all yesterday. If you use those from the video. So leave a like on the video before we get going. If you enjoyed the picks yesterday, if they helped you out in any sort of the way, and we got to get over 100 likes again. The likes have been flowing in nonstop, so thank you again. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get these winning DraftKings picks every single day. So we're going to start it off at the top with Russell Westbrook, the highest salary guy on the slate. But I'm not worried about it. He is a friggin' cakewalk of a matchup going against Jeff Teague he plays no defense we saw that last game against Minnesota he shot 50% from the field 5 for 8 from 3 and 57 drafting points that's around the total that we're looking for and I think he can get some more rebounds than he got in that spot as well only 5 rebounds a lot lower than the rest of his games so I think he can easily get a triple double here maybe approach the 72 drafting points like he got in the last game against the Pacers so at 11,400 He's going to get us around 60 plus, I believe, and return a lot of value there. Even though the price is kind of high, not worried about it. His upside is tremendous, as we know, from this year and from last year as well. So definitely a great play there. And my next guy, Clint Capella at 6,500. He's had some monster games this year. 54 last game and 53 against Sacramento a couple games ago. So that upside is tremendous at 6,500. And his minutes should be over 30 minutes again in the spot. Nene is already ruled out. So Clint Capella is going to be on the court a lot. And we can we know he can rack up the rebounds. He can get some blocks. He can do it all here. He will be battling against the White Howard down low. Might be a little bit of a tough matchup, but I'm not really that worried about it. Dwight Howard's definitely out of his prime. Clint Capella is like too quick for Dwight. So I love Capella in this spot at 6,500. He's going to easily get over 30 drafting points with those minutes going up and then all the rebounds. These Both these teams actually have surprisingly better defenses this year. So there could be a ton of rebounds available for Capella on the missed shots. So I love him. Lock him in. And for my third play, we're going to go to this Nets um Knicks game, which I love, is going to be a lot of points probably in this game. 5,200, Rondé, Hollis, Jefferson, probably the best value on the Nets team. Everyone's around that 5,000 range, but Hollis Jefferson is around the cheapest of the of the guys that I was looking at. He had a very good game last game. He got a 10-minute uh, uptick in his minutes. So with that great game, I think he should be getting over 30 again. With no uh, D'Angelo Russell, they need another scorer on the court, and Hollis Jefferson can provide that for him. He's gone over 30 drafting points in three out of the last four games, and he only got 19 minutes in that game against the Hawks. He did get in some foul trouble, so that probably limited him a bit. But I think he can get over 30 drafting points yet again. That will return the five times value that we're looking for. And the Knicks haven't been playing great defense allowing uh, 47% from the field, 35% from the three-point line. So Hollis Jefferson could have a very good game here. He fills it up a bit in every single stat. So I love him. Lock him in. And now for my fourth play, we're going to go with Frank the Tank Kaminsky. 5,100, no Cody Zeller again in the spot. He's had solid minutes without Zeller, and he's been returning the production, shooting very well from the field, so there's no reason for his minutes to go down here. And against Houston, like we were talking about with uh, Clint Capella, Nene is out for this game. They don't really have that many big men off the bench, so I think that, or any big men that are very good, I believe it's Tariq Black for them. He's kind of undersized, so I think Frank Tank can get some rebounds there, get some threes up against his team, and have a very nice game at a 5,100. They need, need another score for this team they're really lacking the scores with uh, Batum out um, Zeller out so Frank the Tank should have another game where he steps up and returns the value for us so I love him lock him in 
to your lineups. And for my fifth and final play, it's going to be Spencer Dinwiddie. This guy went off last game at 5200 He got a big little price jump, but it was definitely reasonable. His minutes are very good with D'Angelo Russell out again probably for this game. He's doubtful right now. He was cashing deep threes against his Cavs team or against the Cavs last game. So he definitely has the confidence going into this game after a huge game against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And against the Knicks, they got Ramon Sessions playing defense for them at point guard. Not a very good defender. So I think Dinwiddie could have another very good game here. The usage rate went up at um, 13 shots last game. And the minutes should be there yet again. They need another score like I mentioned uh, with D'Angelo Russell out. They're going to need Dinwiddie to step up yet again in this high-paced game. A ton of points will be available at 5,200. He returned a ton of value last game. I think he's going to return another valuable game here. So lock him in. That's the top five guys. You got Westbrook. Dinwiddie, Hollis Jefferson, Frank the Tank, Kaminsky, and Clint Capella. And that's the top five. And for my Dollar Tree play of the day, Marco Bellinelli at 4,400 for the Hawks. He's had a very quietly good year. He's averaging 15 points a game. Um, another ga another team that really needed to score to step up with their injury to their best player, Dennis Schroeder. And Bellinelli has been giving them points. 23 points last night against the Hawks. Uh, not, not against the Hawks, against the Bulls. Shooting very well from the field over the last two games. I think that continues against this Nuggets team that is going to be putting up points against the Hawks. So I think Bellinelli can definitely keep them a little bit close in this game. And even if they get blown out, I'm going to guess that Bellinelli will still be on the court for the most part because he is coming off the bench. So keep that in mind. In this game, uh, they really need a score. And Bellinelli is a very good scorer at 4,400. I love the value that he can return. So lock him in. And that is it, guys. 6,100 remaining per player. So leave a like in the video if you did enjoy it. I hope you guys have a great friggin' night, Friday night here, so enjoy yourselves. We'll try to make some money on DraftKings or whatever DFS site you are playing on. I like, I love these picks as of right now. I think they're going to return a ton of value for you guys. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You get these winning picks every single day for for your NBA, DFS, uh, whatever you play on, whatever. Let's just go ahead and make some money. And definitely go ahead and check out my NFL DraftKings picks for this upcoming Sunday. Some money is to be had there as well. So good luck tonight, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.